MAGA world is wondering why the FBI, after raiding Mar-a-Lago, isn't going after the real criminals. Administration, the Democrats are weaponizing the FBI and it has to stop. The FBI is not here to weaponize against another president. It never has happened before. Um, they should go after things that are clearly a violation, meaning the Hunter laptop, which they don't even have to investigate because the laptop is right there, all the evidence is there. Hillary, all of that is not investigated. President Trump is investigated because they're scared that he's running and he will win again. Mm. I mean, there's an example of very serious people asking very serious questions. I mean, look at the hat. That hat shows how serious you are. A serious hat for a serious person. The bigger the hat, the more serious you are. No, look, this person is a clown. Okay, but uh, to be fair, it's not just clowns that are asking these questions. Uh, you actually have elected officials, which I guess... Not exactly mutually exclusive. Now, another person, uh, this is Texas Congressman Lance Gooden, who asks this, quote, Hillary Clinton deleted 33,000 emails. If no one is above the law, why was Clinton? Interesting day for Hillary to remind everyone that she bleached over 30,000 emails and AIDS destroyed phones with hammers. Really? Th with With hammers? With hammers. Who's got a hammer? Okay. All right. Where was the FBI raid on her own? Mm, questions. Addison Smith of OAN, One America News, said, I wonder what would happen if Trump destroyed his documents like Hillary destroyed her emails. They didn't, well, the, okay, they didn't give Trump the, the, the chance to destroy any documents. That's why they, he was raided. The FBI raids only really when they believe that there is a chance that those documents are going to be hidden or destroyed. Just saying. Just saying. Senator Marsha Blackburn said Hillary Clinton attempted to destroy thousands of emails with bleach bit and a hammer. Who's got a hammer? Okay, do not forget it. The deep state is attempting to get revenge on President Trump. Revenge. Revenge. Really, is that kind of like the revenge that right now Republicans are planning if they get back, when they get back into power, or if? I mean, you already have Kevin McCarthy saying, clear your calendar. We're coming. We're going to have so many. We're going to clog you up with so many investigations. Oh, boy. Just you wait. Here comes bureaucracy. Great. Kimberly Klasik uh, also tweeted this out. Take a moment, if you will, to just think about this simple fact. Mm. Some of Hillary Clinton's missing emails were found on a former congressman's laptop. It was revealed that he was sexting a minor and that discovery ended with seized electronics. No raid. Well, okay, moron, why would they need a raid when they already had the laptop? What do they think a raid is? It's to get information. It's to get documentation or electronics that they believe someone is withholding or might destroy. They already had the laptop. It was, by the way, Anthony Weiner, his laptop. Now, Anthony Weiner is a creep. He sexted a teenager. What a gross guy. Super gross, right? Uh, but they didn't need to raid anybody because they already had the things that they were looking for. And look, they investigated that. The emails were also posted by the State Department as a result of a FOIA request by the group Judicial Watch. Now, those, some of those emails, by the way, did contain confidential information. And as such, the confidential information that was posted was redacted. Now, this investigation was actually headed up by FBI Director James Comey, who, by the way, at the end of the 2016 election, had announced this investigation. They said, oh, we found a thousand emails from this uh, laptop. And then again, they looked into it and they found, oh, well, we didn't find anything criminal. In fact, here's uh, uh, what the FBI had said about this. Although we do not know the exact numbers based on its investigation, the FBI believes it is reasonable to conclude that most of the emails found on Mr. Weiner's laptop computer related to the Clinton investigation occurred 
as a result of a backup of personal electronic devices, with a small number a result of manual forwarding, uh, forwarding sorry, by Ms. Abedin to Mr. Weiner, who, that, of course, referring to Huma Abedin, uh, Hillary Clinton's, uh, I think, a staffer uh, and former wife of Anthony Weiner. Then FBI Director James Comey also testified that, quote, somehow her emails were being forwarded to Anthony Weiner, including classified information by Clinton's assistant, Uma Abedin. But there was no indication that Abedin had a sense that what she was doing was in violation of the law and added that investigators couldn't prove any criminal intent. Now, back then, too, by the way, what they were doing was a misdemeanor. You know who changed that into a felony? Donald Trump. Oops. So now investigation, again, there was one uh, and they found this, uh, these uh, emails on this laptop. Okay, so that's why there was no need for a raid. <laughs> now there was a need for a raid on Mar-a-Lago according to the FBI because again, Trump has a history of destroying documentation, flushing them down the toilet ripping them up like confetti. There have been staffers that have had to tape stuff back together to send it to the National Archive. Now, I'm pretty sure that pissed off the librarians. I mean, if it's one thing, you don't want to piss off, one group of people you don't want to piss off, it's librarians, okay? Just try talking loudly in a the library. They will set you straight, okay? So, uh, look, these people were sent boxes filled with shredded documents. Stripped up. And they had to piece this back, to piece them all back together. And still, they didn't get the documentation that they uh, had, you know, all the documentation that they had requested. And there was reason to believe, thanks to an insider in Mar-a-Lago, that, uh, that Trump was withholding some of this classified documentation. I don't know what it was. There's no details on what documents were being hidden uh, or what was in them, what was on them, what they were about. But it was serious enough and against Trump's own law enough that it warranted this raid, that they had a judge, a magistrate sign off on this. So, but here's the thing, right? You see how the, the conversation has shifted, okay? Uh, now, we're out here talking about Hillary's emails. It's 2016 all over again. And also, not only that, but talking about Hunter's laptop. Which, by the way, they wouldn't need to raid anybody because they already have the laptop. It's already there. Who's raiding who? Who needs to be raided? Come on. No, what, what they want is a distraction. And by the way, there's a lot of right-wingers that are like, I wouldn't mind seeing Hillary Clinton get raided. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, I, they'd love it. Uh, in fact, they, they jump in it, right? But it is funny how the same people who called for this, who wants Hillary to get, uh, get raided and wanted to, uh, her back in 2016, how they're reacting to Trump getting raided now. In fact, there is a video here that I'm gonna show you uh, that, that shows that difference. Frankly, I think it's, it, there's a potential this is a violation of the records law, the Records Act. Nobody is above the law, not even Hillary Clinton. Had you done it or had I done it, um, I'd be off the Intelligence Committee. My, my classification would have been removed. Isn't the mishandling alone, Judge Janine, isn't that in and of itself a crime? Yes. I think she should be in jail for what she did with her emails, okay? She should be in jail. We do not need a reckless president who believes she is above the law. Lock her up. That's right. Get, that's right. Lock her up. Hillary Clinton shouldn't be allowed to run. 
What were you really doing? What were you looking for? Why not talk to President Trump and have him give the information you're after? They will break down your front door. They will spy on your text. Think about what they could do to you. It's like what we thought about the Gestapo or people like that. This is the worst attack on this republic in modern history. And this is a chilling moment in the country's history. This is an abomination. All of them have to be held accountable. Banana Republic. The Banana Banana republic. republic. This is Gestapo crap, and it will not stand. This is a declaration of war. They can do it to you. <laughs> Look, I want to give credit to Christopher Webb for putting that video together. Uh, wow. Uh, the music was not me. That was that was him. But uh, no, uh, that was great. <laughs> Look, sorry, Chuds, but as much as I don't like Hillary Clinton, she's not going to get raided because there's no reason to raid somebody. Uh, again, it I wouldn't want Trump to get raided for no reason. Uh, that would be an abuse of power. That would be ridiculous. And I would be against that. Obviously, they believed that there was something enough for them to raid Mar-a-Lago. Now, if you're to sit here and compare like these uh, Fox News people, these situations and say, oh, they're, they're the same thing. That's why Hillary Clinton should have gotten raided. This is stupid. Now, look, one of the people who actually led the investigation into Clinton's emails is saying that, too. This is David Lofman, who led the Justice Department's counterintelligence section until 2018, who is now a partner at the law firm Wigan and Donna, saying this. People sling these cases around to suit their political agenda, but every case has to stand on its own circumstances. Lofman added that for the department to pursue such a search warrant, at Mar-a-Lago tells me that the quantum and quality of the evidence they were reciting in a search warrant and affidavit that the FBI agent swore to was likely so pulverizing in its force as to eviscerate any notion that the search warrant and this investigation is politically motivated. I love the term there, pulverizing in its force. I think I'm going to use that. It's, it's pulverizing in its force. Very strong. Uh, but look, in addition to the Clinton case, by the way, this guy managed the investigation into David Petraeus, the former general and CIA director who also pleaded guilty to mishandling classified material. The same thing, of course, that Trump uh, has been alleged to have done. Uh, and by the way, the same thing that Trump turned from a misdemeanor into a felony. Oops. Oops. Now, look, if Donald Trump gets into trouble, and I'll be honest, I don't think that he'll go to prison if he gets into trouble. I know because I'm so used to rich people, powerful people getting away with just about anything. OK, um, but I think if there is any sort of consequences that he ends up facing. Well, it's going to be totally on him again, for one, just taking the documents that didn't actually belong to him. And uh, secondly, signing that law and uh, making this a felony. Man, that's your fault, man. Good luck with that. <laughs>